Micro. Let's just say it outright, the man is an absolute icon. A voice that could narrate the fall of empires or sell you a vacuum sealer at 2 a.m. And let's not pretend he's not just a guy who gets dirty. He's Americana in human form. This is the guy who could sit you down, teach you the value of a number two pencil, and somehow make it sound like a TED talk mixed with a barroom story. Mike Rowe is the dad every lost soul in this country needs, and he's the only guy I'd trust to explain why my furnace isn't working. But let's clear the air, because apparently some people still think he's a failed actor cosplaying as a blue collar worker. Spoiled California kid? A theater dork? Please. You can't fake his level of impact. Dirty Jobs was more than a show. It was a tribute to the people actually keeping the lights on. And guess what? The man has been to the Senate multiple times advocating the skilled trades while the rest of you were scrolling memes. Let's see your favorite TikTok influencer make it to the Senate floor. Mike didn't just romanticize trades. He made them essential again. He's out here reminding everyone we don't all need degrees to be valuable. Welders making $200,000 a year, electricians buying five bedroom homes at 23. That's the dream he's selling. And for many people, it's a reality. Unlike every latte sipping academic whose job security is literally predicated on them spouting the value of higher education, Mike's pointing to the guys actually holding the economy together and saying, look, these are your heroes. And speaking of heroes, let's talk about authenticity. Rose's voice, it's iconic. It's not just his voice though, it's his perspective. He looks at the guy who's a janitor as as much worth talking to as a CEO. Respect is his language and he speaks it fluently. Meanwhile, some of you are busy debating whether he's real blue collar, even while you work in paper pushing jobs that wouldn't last 10 seconds without the tradesman he's talking about. You like working in a heated building? Here's the kicker. Micro doesn't just talk the talk. He's got a foundation putting his money where his mouth is. Funding scholarships for people to learn trades. He's more than just a narrator. He's an advocate for the people you forgot about. This isn't nostalgia for dirty jobs. This isn't about his smooth dad-like charm. It's about acknowledging that he's done more for the country than half the bureaucrats in office. So here's the deal. Love him, hate him, call him a failed actor if it makes you feel good. At the end of the day, Micro is what the country needs. Someone who can get their hands dirty while keeping it classy. He's not just a man, he's a movement. Send this to someone who still doesn't get it and tell them you're welcome.